back, baby. I'm back, bro. You see the whip? You see the whip? Day 75, super retention! Woo! You thought I was going somewhere, baby? I ain't going nowhere, bro. The devil can't stop me. That's the thing. He thinks he can stop me. The devil thinks he can stop me. He cannot. Good overcomes evil. Jesus is superior to the devil in all his little tactics of anger, of frustration, of devastation, all that. So you saw the last video. I was honestly, I was hesitant to upload that video because I, for one, I look like a crazy person. For two, that's that might literally be the lowest point in my life, the, the lowest ever, because I, I, I thought I lost everything and now I already gained the car back. It turns out I just needed a new battery. See, the devil is, he's good with, with that negativity, planting those seeds and thoughts of negativity to where you think, oh, I'm gonna need a, a new alternator that costs a thousand. I'm gonna need something. I, the whole car is maybe broke. Can I need a new engine for 3,000 or what? Dude, it was like, it was 200 bucks. I, I tr called AAA. I took a, I took a night's rest got some sleep woke up in the morning and figured yo <laughs> i i can't quit dude i can't i'm not built to quit and then it made me think if jesus doesn't quit on me how could i quit on him and it brings me to this movie uh the joker movie or um the dark knight with Heath Ledger, I think it's one of the greatest movies of all time. There's a scene where the the, the he's trying to get everybody to, to kill each other. They're on the boats. And you know what they say? He's sitting there waiting. He's like, somebody's going to kill each other. Somebody's going to blow each other up. And one boat is like, well, they haven't given up on us. So we shouldn't give up on them either. And that's, it hit me with Jesus. It's like, Jesus, I, I can't give up. I can't give up on Jesus. If Jesus doesn't give up on me, how could I give up on Jesus? So I was hesitant to upload that video because I was just, it was, it was like the, my lowest point. I was like, I don't want people to see me like that. But then it made me think it's like, no, I, I do want people to see me like that. Albeit the profanity and all that stuff, the anger, it, it, it's, it's embarrassing and it's 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 sad but the point is it's authentic and you're gonna get the real authentic roller coaster over here you're not gonna get no oh i went to dubai and i went to france and then you look at my gucci and my fendi and, and then <laughs> they're depressed on the inside or whatever these fake instagram people and I show authenticity over here. I show the good and the bad. So you saw the lowest and I didn't want to upload that, but then it made me think that's the last time I'll, I'll be representing that, that evil negativity, that, that, that negative thoughts that the devil tried to put in me, anger, doubt, all that. I mean, I think even in, in the video, I was like, I give up on, on semen retention, God, everything. And obviously, that's not true. I'm making this video right now. Jesus Christ is Lord. Praise Jesus, the one true God, the Savior of the world. And I think, you know, things happen for a reason. And the significance of why... <laughs> It was necessary for me to go through that that lowest point I've ever been to the point where I'm thinking I might I might kill myself or thinking like self deletion thoughts just because it's so negative and there's so many things added up that went wrong to the point I thought it was all over. But that's the devil trying to manipulate me into thinking it's all over. Then when you focus on Jesus, you realize like I've had this epiphany that like material possessions literally do not matter at all i'm wearing the same shorts i've been wearing these shorts for like five days because when you truly are in a desperate place and you're truly at a lowest point 
you, you start, you don't take things for granted anymore. Like I'm sitting there like, cause if you, especially if you grow up privileged or if you grow up with, with good parents, which isn't a bad thing, but you don't really understand <laughs> the, the lack of importance towards material things and, and clothing and all this stuff. Because it's like, dude, I don't like, I don't need all these clothes. I don't need all these chains. I don't need all these jewelry, whatever. And I wouldn't have realized that if I wasn't at that lowest point to where I had nothing. And I'm just like, dude, all I want is a toilet. All I want is a shower. Like, like all I want is, is a place to lay my head. And I still had a place to lay my head, even though I thought like everything was crumbling down. It was all over. I still had a place to lay my head, even though it may stink in there. It's like, dude, you start to appreciate things a lot more. And when you are at your lowest, who do you turn to? You turn to Jesus. That's exactly what I said in the last video, even though I was showing signs of doubt. You know, actions speak louder than words. Obviously, in the heat of the moment, you're going to say some things that, that you don't really mean, you don't really feel. But that's how that stress it's like that when you're under that immense level of stress it can hit you to where you're 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 not thinking straight um so that's what happened to me and then i was just i rewatched a video i'm like dang this is a really negative video of the profanity and stuff i don't want to i don't want to present myself as that but then it made me think it's like no i am going to present myself at my lowest because it is a testimony of where God will take me. And on top of that, breaking news, I'm done with weed. So I'm thinking maybe this had to happen in order for me to finally quit weed because I'm done. It's gone, I finished it. In fact, in that video, I was probably high because I smoked like an hour or so before making that video. So once again, it's exposing the the demons behind drug use. I, it's super angry and all that. And and just just angry and devastated and depressed and whatever you want to call it, it's not in the state of being that Jesus wants you in. And it's not in the state of being that Jesus himself would be in. So I always think of that. It's like I gotta put myself in Jesus' shoes or I gotta I gotta put Jesus in my shoes and think what would he do in this situation? <laughs> then you read the scriptures, you're like, it says Jesus didn't have a place to lay his head. So I don't know the exact details. I don't know if Jesus was homeless, but the point is he wouldn't have been like losing his mind and turning super negative and, and thinking the world's over and thinking, ah, I need to end this. He remained strong. And even with Job, Job got everything took from him. And his wife was even like, I don't know her exact words either, but she said something along the lines of like, dude, just just give up on this. Just just forget about that. And Job didn't. He remained strong and faithful regardless of his circumstances. And that's the same thing I'm gonna do. So yes, it was an absolute nightmare, but when you're in the in all these stressful situations, you, you're not thinking, oh. Maybe I could just call AAA and, and, and it won't actually end up being that bad. And that's the case. But in the moment, you're like, you're thinking the worst of the worst. You're like, okay, this is over with. I don't have anywhere to do it. Like, you know what I mean? And who did I turn to? I turned to Jesus. I was praying last night. And then what do you know? I stopped the weed and then boom, one problem's already solved. I got my car back. The technician came. It said, I need a new battery, $200, I got a new battery. So now I can work, I can go to the gym, shower, uh, uh, use the bathroom there if I need to. <sighs> Praise Jesus, man. And I think moving along now that I'm actually sober, and, and here's the ironic part, this is day 75 of semen retention. So my seed, is officially matured. Let's go, baby! Let's go! My seed is officially matured, and then coincidentally, 
This is the exact day that I'm done with weed. I had an epiphany and Jesus literally spoke to me. I'm not gonna get into too many details of how he speaks to me, but I genuinely believe he speaks to me through numbers. And there was a verse that you can't make this up. The main number I, I always see everywhere, they call it synchronicities. I think it's a connection to the, to the, to the higher power, to God. I see 9-11 everywhere. That's, that's one of the main numbers I see. And dude, this verse popped up. It, it was like, like I would see like 9-11 and then I would see like 119, which is the reverse of 9-11. And I just had like thoughts in my head of like, okay, does that mean that's the reverse of God? Because every time I see this number, it, it, to me, it seems like it's linked to God trying to communicate with me. Now, there's no proof of that, but my own personal experience, it's, I don't want to get too into it. It would take, you know, a much longer video to, to explain, but dude, it's, 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 it's mathematically impossible to, to, to be a coincidence because the verse was literally, it was like, it was, it was one, one, nine, and then it was one, one. So it was almost like it was, it was a sign of my old life and that smoking weed addiction becoming new my old life turning into my new life and this being like that was the sign from god of saying this is it there's no more re-upping there's no more getting more weed this is the day that you are transformed and it happened to be synchronized with day 75 of semen retention and it happened to be synchronized with the worst day ever to where i made that video transforming into my new life, my new persona, my new spirit in the sense of I'm I'm about to be sober minded. <laughs> like even now it's like I'm sober minded but weed stays in your system for like 21 days. So I I think literally like I'm about to go viral. The approaching 100 days semen retention and that's when I'll out my body will sort of uh, empty out and detox that garbage drug weed i think i generally think it's like because i'm going to be able to articulate myself better i'm going to be able to be smarter i mean dude it's like weed makes you so dumb that i, I can't even <laughs> i can't even explain it man because i told you in the last oh actually i think it was the video where i was saying i lost a hundred thousand so that's, obviously that's dumb right there. But in that video, I'm like, dude, I leave my keys in my door when when my, and then go to sleep and the next morning, well, where's my keys? Oh, it's I left it outside for any criminal or thief to break in and kill me or whatever. It's, it's crazy. And I just wouldn't be able to articulate myself properly. So I think as time goes on and this weed leaves my system and I continue on this journey of senior retention and continue to strive closer to God because it, the other thing this taught me is dude there is nothing nothing more important than Jesus Christ in a relationship with him if I was in this situation and I didn't have Jesus to call on dude that's bro I do not know what I would have done I probably would have done something really bad but I said, I, I can't give up on Jesus if he doesn't give up on me. How could I How could I give up on, on God when he doesn't give up on me? And after all the sin I do, he's still right there with, with open arms to give you a hug, a spiritual hug of, of comfort and peace and joy and, and assurance that he will get you through those hard times that you're in. I mean, you saw the video. That that was that was down bad. <laughs> like, and I'm still not even really out of the situation. I still don't have a shower. I still don't have a toilet. I still don't have an ID. But I got my car back. So that's just one thing that that just makes me in a better you know mood because it's like, dude. If you don't have a car, like you, if you saw the last video, it's, I thought everything was over, but I didn't lose hope in Jesus.
Jesus. Jesus is the one to turn to when you're in your worst times. And then I think because of being in the awful time and trusting Jesus and then he helps get you through it, that just, that just solidifies his love for you and his importance to where when I do see success, there's no way I could forget about Jesus. There's no way. <laughs> where in the past, maybe if I didn't go through those hard times and go through the struggle and have Jesus help me get through it, I probably would have just been like, eh, I mean, yeah, that church stuff, that God stuff is cool, but I mean... I got, I got a milli. I got two milli. I'm gonna just get this Lambo and to dude. All these girls are starting to like look at me. Let me just. I mean, I'm, I, I could be fulfilled with with these girls and stuff like that. It's not the same. But now, because of the lesson I learned, dude, I could never. There is no one on this planet Earth. Stephen Hawking, Albert Einstein. Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, to some other of these scientists, whatever. And he said, there's no scientist in the world that can convince me that Jesus Christ is not real. It's impossible because he is literally the only reason that I'm able to make this video and, and be positive and be confident that it's gonna be okay. Jesus gives you that reassurance, even when you lose everything. He's the one to turn to when you're at your lowest because he is always there for you. He doesn't judge you based on your money. He doesn't judge you based on the women you can get. He doesn't judge you based on how good you look. He doesn't judge you based on how well your business is doing. He accepts you as you are. It doesn't matter what struggle you're going with. He's always there and you call upon his name. He will be there for you. And he's there for me. And, and dude, I think I'm going to get through this just fine. And I just want to praise Jesus Christ. Because this is, this is it right now. This is day 75. It, it's like, dude, it's all synchronized to the point where I literally have a new seed. There is a new, the sperm is, is matured. Like I'm a new creation almost. And on top of that, the weed is, 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 it's gone. That addiction is over. And I praise Jesus Christ for that. The same reason I got off my sex addiction is the same reason I just killed my weed addiction is because of prayer to Jesus Christ and trusting in him that he will get me over those addictions. If you have any addictions, Jesus is the one to cure it. And I mean, even depression, it's like, I think it's, I think like 80, 90% of depression is situational because a lot of times people might think they're like clinically depressed or whatever, when in reality, it's the situation they're in. If you give them a perfect wife, if you give them uh, good money, good house, good, just good situation, I don't think people are just gonna be depressed as, as easy as they are. And the other significant factor, I think most people who struggle with depression, they don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ because these pills, like, like opioids or antidepressants, or whatever, it's, it's all one and the same to me. It's, it's man-made pills. Pills are not going to save you. Pills are not going to cure you. And they are not more powerful then Jesus Christ, the power of prayer, the power of Jesus Christ, the creator of the universe. Do you really think some pill is going to help you cure depression over the creator of everything? The all powerful God? Of course not. Jesus is the one who heals. Jesus is the one who cures. I had no reason whatsoever, none, to stop having sex with women, to stop 
watching porn, masturbation, whatever. It was physically pleasurable to me. So that's why it's like nobody can tell me it's not because of Jesus that that addiction was cured. Because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even had a reason to stop that addiction. And then you just continue it. And when you're in an addiction, you don't even realize you're in an addiction a lot of times. Because you're stuck in it. You're in it. And you're not aware of it. It's not until you escape the addiction that you realize you were addicted a lot of times. And Jesus is the reason I escaped the addiction. Because he's the reason I stopped. I said, I have to be righteous towards God. This is God's standard. And he said don't do that <laughs> like, don't rely on drugs or alcohol or whatever rely on him so dude day 75 see retention i was super negative in the last video because i was in a super bad situation but the devil tries to take advantage of those situations and tries to feed off your anger and then he throws in some depression in there he throws in some suicidal thoughts in there that is all of the devil. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So I think this literally had to happen. I think it's all synchronized. Synchronicity is it is 100% real. And it's not a coincidence. I think it's in direct alignment with, with the creator of the world. And so now, with me not being addicted and hooked on weed anymore, dude, I think, I think I'm going to help change the world. Because with my testimony, I'm gonna help spread the truth. And with, with the ability to articulate properly and to not have brain fog from always smoking and to think clearly, sober-minded, diligently, like the Bible says, I'm only gonna help bring people to God's kingdom and I'm only gonna connect closer to God myself. And I'm gonna continue on this semen retention journey. And I'm gonna get to 100 days. We're 25 days away. And, and it's just life is going to get better even though yesterday I was like literally like it, it, suicidal thoughts thinking it was over it's not a coincidence that that very night I quit weed and I pray to God I wake up and then I even I haven't really checked my investments but even my I, one of the main I think my number one holding I looked it was up 70% today and, and I'm just like, whoa, wait a minute. But I haven't even really been focusing on that because it's not like, dude, my number one focus is Jesus. That's, that's, I will be a warrior for Jesus. I'm going to, to, to gain so much wisdom and knowledge to where I can beat anyone in a debate. That's the only goal I have at this point is helping people understand that Jesus is real and connect closer to him and setting a good example as as a man not one of these little playboys these little boys that like sleeping around and using girls and and hooking up and all that garbage we're going to be aligned with the truth which is Jesus Christ we're going to be aligned with the way I'm, dude I'm seeing license plates driving by it, it's all my numbers i'm seeing i like dude i've sold it like three times just making this video synchronicities driving by as i'm making this that's alignment that means i'm on the right path so i have absolutely no reason whatsoever to turn back to weed i will not do it that addiction is over there's no it's been verified that that was that was blocking my blessing that was blocking my righteous path with god that it may have been blocking my, my wife, you know what I mean? Because like you can't expect like, oh, I need a sober wife, um, a non-promiscuous wife, um, a godly wife, all this stuff, and then you're sitting there smoking and doing all this stuff. It's it's like attracts like, like you're gonna attract like what you give off. So if I'm a pothead, it's like I can't expect to attract a woman that doesn't use any drugs or drink alcohol. It doesn't even make sense. You're not even in the same situations. You're not even doing the same type of experiences. So you're more likely to attract other girls that smoke weed or, or whatever. So now I think, I genuinely believe, and we're gonna see going forward, this is the journey. This is, the, this is why I did wanna upload that last video, even though I may have used profanity and, and, and just been in a 
in an awful place. I, I needed you to see me like that because that was the low point. That was that was the bottom. In, in investing, they have something called bottoms and tops. The bottom is like, that's when the market's done going down. It's just gonna go up from here on out. I believe that's, that's the case with my life. The weed addiction, it was absolutely holding me back and it's no longer a problem anymore. We got a new seed. We are a new creation. And anyone who does not believe in Jesus, you can become a new creation and receive the Holy Spirit by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If anyone is down, bad, anyone going through depression, anxiety, pills and man-made medications are not the answer. The real answer, which nobody likes to talk about, because God is suppressed in society because of the devil ruling this world. He doesn't want you to, to know that truth. Woo! But it's the truth. It's the truth, baby. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, the life. I'm about to become a preacher, an evangelist. I'm about to tap, I'm about to tap in. I'm not about to be focusing on all this materialism, money, chasing money. If the money comes, cool. If it doesn't, whatever. That, that's not my purpose anymore. My purpose is fully to chase God and his righteousness and his kingdom and help bring as many people to Christ as possible. That is my mission from here on out. And so, yeah, I thought it was all over yesterday, you know, but when you turn to Jesus, it, it's it could have went two. It literally could have went two different ways. I literally could have just lost my mind and just just I could have ended it for myself, or I could have just done something else crazy. Because the situation I was in was was a devastating situation. But what did I do? I said a prayer. I went to sleep. I woke up. <laughs> And then next thing you know, God gives you that peace. He gives you that confidence. He gives you that, that stoicism, that, that calmness, that everything's gonna be okay. Do not worry. That's what the Bible says. Do not be anxious. Trust in the Lord, <laughs> you know? So it, it's, it's from here on out, like it's, it's, it's all positivity. It's, it's, this is who I am a sober, positive person. Like, dude, you don't understand if you knew my life of how positive and charismatic of a person I was before I got hooked on weed. It wasn't until after I got hooked on weed, I just, I, I wouldn't make eye contact. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the same positivity that I just, I wouldn't have the same social skills. It just, it ruined everything. And maybe I had to lose everything to gain the, the the revival of my soul and my true personality, my true self, which is a sober-minded being and a warrior for Christ. That's who I grew up being. It wasn't until I got into sex and I got into drugs and I got into greed, chasing money. It, it all brought me away from God. It's like King Solomon. He had a thousand wives or 700, 300 concubines, whatever. And they it literally made him start worshiping other gods because it drifted him away from God. And then, you know, it's like bad things happen when you go away from God. So this is a long video, but it's a significant video because this is the transformation of my life path. This is when it all starts. I may end up being a preacher. I may be, who knows? But I genuinely believe on this righteous path of semen retention and obedience towards God, blessings are gonna start coming. And and dude, I'm still struggling with some things, but knowing I have Jesus by my side, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Even in the worst of circumstances, dude, I'm not giving up, I can't give up, I'm not a quitter. In the moment you react emotional because it's such a stressful situation and it's urgent,
but then you, you settle down, you calm down, you call on the name of the Lord, and He will make the right way for you. So I, I, it's the righteous path, man, from here on out. There's none of this one foot in, one foot out. Well, I'm going to church Sunday. Well, let's, let's go smoke right after church, or let's go, like, uh, masturbate. No, we're done with that. We're on day 75 of SEMA retention. We're on day one of, of weed retention, you know, sobriety. And we're only getting started. We're only getting started helping advance the kingdom of Christ. There's no one, no one that's going to deter me away from the truth and the gospel. No one. The devil tried. I'm sorry. You tried. I already killed one addiction that you were trying to keep, keep me under. You pathetic devil. And now I just killed another. So guess what? <laughs> the devil might be angry at me, but guess what? Good. <laughs> I want the devil angry at me. I want Jesus's satisfaction. Jesus's acceptance. Jesus's approval. I don't care about the devil. The devil's pathetic. The devil wants you hooked on porn and masturbating every single day and smoking weed every single day. It's over with. It's over with. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are sober from here on out. We are as righteous as we can possibly try to be from here on out. And I praise Jesus. And I understand. In the moment, you might not understand what you're going through. But now I realize it's so profound because it... It, it, it affects everything. There's cause and effect. The cause and effect of me, yeah, I was just walking around this area last night in that video. Going through that and being where I am now, it, it's, it has transformed me. Because it, it reiterated and it verified what my purpose is. My purpose is not to become a millionaire. <laughs> like, my purpose is not to become rich or famous. My purpose is to be the strongest warrior for Christ that I can possibly be. And and being on this journey of seamer attention, it helps you realize that. See, I mean, it's it's you will objectively grow closer to Christ as you emulate Christ. And seamer attention is just one factor of emulating Christ, and it's one of the most significant ones because it's your life force energy. It is the substance that creates humanity sperm meets the egg it creates a, a child and that child grows up he meets a woman and it's it's procreation it all starts from semen and now what most people i think like 90 to 90 percent of people they don't even have a renewed seed they don't have that new seed i now have a new seed the semen is officially mature so i praise jesus everyone sorry i apologize for the last video being negative or whatever but that's 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 part of the journey you're gonna see it all that's what authenticity is about i don't just show the good like these fake instagram people or whatever you see it all you see the whole journey and from here on out i believe we're just gonna elevate closer to god so praise Jesus and stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the journey so far. We're just getting started, baby. Once again, thank you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Amen.